Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Excuse me. D hey, stop. Welcome to Playframe, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, like, let's do another take. And I was like, no, we got to no, keep that. Leave in. it in. <laughs> leave it. We're doing it live. Speaking of things we've done, I went back into Banjo-Kazooie World and tried to do the stop and swap thing again. I think I might know. Well, let's see if it actually works first. Let's, let's see if it works. I'd rather be sure of that before I explain why it didn't work before as if it's about to. Chicken, I'm really begging you right now, please. Do you want the Heggy to hatch the egg? Yes. Okay. Please. It worked. So, here is why it didn't work before. So, uh, the way that Banjo-Kazooie works with typing in little codes into the sandcastle is that if you type in certain cheat codes, I don't know if it worked this way originally on the N64. I think this is probably just like a, it seems like a more recent post-achievements world type thing. Yeah, because it's, it's like, oh, you can't go on the leaderboards with Yet, this. Yeah, like leaderboards like the N64 used to have you know so that so uh they added a thing on the Xbox 360 version where if you type in cheat codes the you can't save in that session anymore on Banjo Kazooie so you have to quit out of the game and load back in uh if you're wanting to do cheats like that um we did not realize that you don't have to type in the cheats in the uh 360 version if, so long as you have a Banjo Tooie save existing somewhere, then the stop and swap stuff will be activated in Banjo-Kazooie and you can just go and pick it up without entering oh, in is that the codes. Yeah, so... Because we because we did it before recording. We played Banjo-Kazooie before we started Tui. Yep, yep. And I was like, well, Shark Bait Island's not there, so we have to do it. Yep, yep, that's right. That's not to, Okay, yep, yep that's so, it. So uh, we, we typed in the codes, which did make the items appear, but... Uh, <laughs> They made the items appear, but we couldn't save in Banjo-Kazooie, so it didn't matter. It, like, it wasn't reflected in the data. Before this session, though, I did go, and I got those items without typing in codes, and now it's worked, and now you're caught up. So yes, please hatch the egg. Clock! Got Haggy's special egg! Clock! You see something we don't? I suppose it is ten years old. Does it smell bad? <laughs> Clock! Throw it in nest! There we go. I'm excited. What the heck's this gonna do? What do you think? I have no idea. Like, um, some power ups up. Clock! Watch Heggy Hatch! Just bricks the console. <laughs> <laughs> what? Banjo 3, it's here! Oh my gosh. <laughs> All this time, no one knew how to get stop and swap to work. Clock! Now you can play as Sonic. <gasps> oh my gosh. A gamer pick. <laughs> Clark looks good. Hey. <laughs> I like it. Amazing. And I thought eggs had birds in them. <laughs> Timing of that's funny. What about the key then? Do you want this key? Clark, you've got no more eggs to hatch, but there are more to find. Go and play the first game and get... So I did collect the key. Do we need to go find the cartridge? Is that what the key is supposed to do? So, how much do you want me to just be like, hey, Dan, go here? Uh, yes. Okay, so <laughs> go to the, uh, Jinjo village. Gotcha. Jinjo village, we go. At this point, we've had so much build up on the stop and swap stuff that I'm just dying to know. Mm hmm To the Jinjo village. Get out of here. Get, 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 get. So wait, question, what, what did the pink A actually get us? Uh, gamer pick. <laughs> just the gamer pick? I think. I mean, that's what it said. I mean, I could... Let me go pick it up, because it is just sitting there still, I think. Maybe? I thought it exploded. Did it? I'm fine with it exploding. Let's see what happens. No, it's not sitting there anymore. Hey. Because you can bet your bottom dollar we didn't do all that for a gamer picture. I was going to say. Hmm. Meh. Mm -hmm. Are there so the only items that we have to collect in uh, Kazoo and Banjo Kazooie is the pink egg at the beach and the ice key? Yeah, or is there another those, thing? Those were the originally what they unlocked. Okay. This is going to be an ongoing mystery for the entire it is. playthrough. It's going to be the entire playthrough. Okay, well, we have the ice key, so we can at least do that. Okay, we'll let's... figure out the egg situation. <laughs> Maybe it unlocks something else. I thought it just said gamer pick. It did look like it just said gamer pick. I really wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we want to go 
to the left of these tracks. Okay. In that little, like, open spot. Like around here? -ish? Yeah. Okay, okay. We got some wedges we oh, can yeah, grab. Yeah, we can come down here. I see. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Whoop. We got some lads to decapitate. A bomb. There you go. Beautiful. Next. Bring it. And then tunnel. Mm, tunnel. Ooh. And oh, well, hello there. Come here. Hey. There we go. Egg. And the winner is, it's a spangly golden egg. Just take care of it. Just Should I go beat up the other cartridge again? Because I don't remember if we got like a little stop and swap pop up on screen did for we? that. Did we? Yeah. I don't feel like we did. Let's go see what this does first. We'll go see. But then, uh, yeah, if this, if this does a thing, then we'll go back to Spiral Mountain if it, ow, if, uh, if it doesn't work out. Because here's, here's where my brain's at. Either A, because I know there's a thing called Stop and Swap 2, which Ooh. is what I think the Xbox version added. Okay. Um, because the, the pink egg was originally supposed to be the thing that I wanted it to be, but I guess now that they've done that and they put the little N64 cartridges in, mm. those took place of it, maybe? Maybe so. All right. Um, Let's find so out. I guess we'll see. I'm so curious. Peggy. Come on. Clock, you've got no more. Bird. I'm getting upset with you. This dang bird. Hmm. Well, I might be able to break this. Maybe that'll do something. Get out of here. Okay, I can do this. Is that something? In time. <laughs> not now. There we go. Oh, in time, but not now. Mm -hmm. But I am a kazooie. That's it's cute running around. It's just a kazooie. I like it. Right? Yeah. She's so speedy. I have no moves. <laughs> Can you do um crouch jump? Nope. Nope. Okay. What if it's just come on, bird to bird, bird to bird. Clock. Only speak to Smelly Bear and Skinny Bird together. Clock. Weird conditions, but okay. Nah. We did get an on-screen pop-up this time, though. I'm going to Spiral Mountain. Like, we might get into a level today, everyone. <laughs> We're solving the ultimate puzzle. We are solving this right now. Okay, Jinjo Village. Then hoof it to Spiral Mountain. Beat up a cartridge again. Assuming it's there... If it's not, there's another one that we can get. Okay, sure. It's a fun just scavenger hunt. Mm-hmm. I have terrible news, Dan. Uh-oh. What, what, what happened? <laughs> What's going on? You know what? So what we did for uh, the pink egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to do that for all the other eggs in Banjo-Kazooie. Wait. There are more eggs in Banjo-Kazooie? Yes. Oh. There's like six. <laughs> the thing is, originally they were linked to rewards, and I guess they changed them over to different rewards oh. now because of Xbox Ar Arcade. Huh. So originally the pink one was linked to an ability that we would get. Um, but now it's just a gamer picture. Okay. And if we get all, and since I guess it doesn't care that we, okay, we, we that guy is dead. <laughs> um, dead and buried. Yep. So you do want to get it back on the flight pad. Gotcha. Um, and there is another little cubby you're going to look for that's covered in grates. Do you want to just do this today? <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? We stop and swap it. it. We Dog stop it. and swap. <laughs> We're getting these things. <laughs> Stop swap. The thing is, I only remember where a few stop and swaps are. There's Bloody. one in Mad Monster. Mad Monster. Oh my. There's one in Gobies. Hmm. All right. I see some kind of rocks up here that are a little conspicuous. Mm, um. Not conspicuous enough though. You're so right. I think there's 
I think there's another little similar. There you go. There That's we go. It. All right. And you can you can fire eggs Ow. from flying, right? That's right. I can do that. Not very well, but yes. Let's see. All right. Turn it around. And we do have an egg that is yeah. that solves everything. Ow. It's fine. You're right. We do have that. Uh. Oh, there we go. There okay, it got is. it. Had to find the buttons without. No, without doing something like that. Come on now. That's okay. Manchu. We can do this. Yes. We did it. We did it. Come here, you. Because these, the the gold, silver, and and bronze eggs that we're getting now, they are the stop and swap two things. Oh. So you stop and swap two. It's a super secret bronze egg. I wonder what that's doing here. Great question. Okay. So now. If we want, we can go into Kazooie and unlock <laughs> Heck, all yes, of the eggs. Let's do it. <laughs> right, we want to do it. Let's surprise let's sequel do it. bonus episode to Pancho <clears throat> Kazooie today. Heck yeah. We're going back. We're going back. All right. So, yeah. Uh, I guess first up is Gobi's Valley. It's more complicated than the new Demon Souls secret room. It is. Took people years to figure this out. To be fair, the Banjo wikis uh, are not good. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! There's, a, I feel like there's a lot of missing information. That's really unfortunate. Get on it, Banjo Kawiki. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie, everyone. <laughs> I don't mean to hate on the, the Banjo Wiki, you know, community out there. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes I want to research how to how to unlock the stop and swap. <laughs> We're gonna get it. We're gonna make this happen. Hey, did you know if you get on that sarcophagus and you uh, shoot an egg, you can get the. <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm cool gonna trick. need. If you want to see that done, you can watch Play Frame. <laughs> it's true. Dan pulled it off. Here, live before me, you guys all saw it later, but trust me, it was cool. You saw it, you know. You just walk in the sand, Dan. You know, I guess I could. <laughs> I have a lot of health. <laughs> I was like, it took me a second, I was like, wait, is he just like leaving? I was like, oh, he's looking for boots. I'm like, you don't need boots. Look at us. Look at them. They're champs. We got red health. Ow. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Easy. So we're going to be, so y'all saw uh, back in episode two, three, four, whatever it was. Y'all saw us go back to uh, the beach world to go grab one of the eggs there. And you saw us grab the ice key in Freeze Easy. Mm -hmm. Now we're here in Gobi Valley where another one apparently is. I need yeah. to find a flight pad. Uh, we need a flight. There's one on top of this guy. Awesome. Okay. Eh. Man, isn't that music great? It's good, great music. Oh, man. If only they made a sequel. <laughs> okay, 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 you know what? I've been I've been a little negative Nancy about Tui. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it with a new refreshed vigor. Ooh. You know? Nothing but positive vibes coming from me. <laughs> so this door wasn't open originally. Yeah. Now you can get in here and there's a tomb and everything. Oh button. Button. Egg! Egg! There's another one! Two down. Wow, another one of those special stop and swap eggs. Hope this isn't a cruel joke. <laughs> and we can actually use them this time. <laughs> listen, listen, Banjo, we're trying our best, okay? If this was a joke, though... It's a really good joke. It's really working on me. I'm so excited. Like, I've never done any of this nonsense, so I'm seeing all this like silliness for the first time. All right, we can we can dip out of this world and into the sand to die. There we go. Saved it. This makes more sense as a way to get out of here. So yeah, our next world, I guess, is it the mansion? Mad Monster Mansion. Mad we Monster have two mansion. eggs to get in Ooh, Mad Monster Mansion. Two there. Weird. Ooh. Yep. 
Is there a way to quick exit levels, or do you have to? I go think back? you actually have to exit. Okay. Or normal, yeah. Eh, fair enough. I think they add that in Tui? Maybe? Maybe so. I feel like they did. Maybe they didn't. I think they did. I don't or maybe know. I'm just thinking of Mario 64. I don't know. Mario 64 had it, though. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Eh. There we go. To the mansion. So we're collecting a total of how many of these things? I think there's like six. Six, okay. Let's say two in Mad Monster. Click clock. And then Rusty Bucket Bay. So we have four left, so we have, we've got two. Yeah. Okay. And an ice key. Which and an ice key. Which gets us to another egg inside Banjo-Tooie. Mm-hmm. Is this it? This isn't it. Isn't it? Dark uh, on. yes. No. These are things I should remember. It is in her mouth. Oh, okay. What am I climbing up toward then? There's something like higher up That was up Rusty here. Bucket over there. Oh, that's what that was. Doesn't matter how many times I play this game all the way through, I just cannot remember this space ever. There, there's something about this room in particular. Because I'm, because I always think like, oh, you go in the Grunty's mouth, and that's like the end of the game, right? No, it's just Mad Monster Man. Yeah, and I feel like it's, like, it, sure, I guess I'll let the game take some of that blame, but I feel like, I feel like it's mostly me. I think I just like I remember all of these rooms, just not how they connect. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have that like moment in a? I don't, I don't know why this brought this to mind, of like. An old game from your childhood, and there was like the the fabled secret Ooh. that didn't actually exist. Yes, I always thought there was like a uh, a secret world that no one had accessed in uh, Mario sixty four. Oh, really? Like, like you know how you can if you when you when you beat the game and you hundred twenty star or whatever, you can um, you can fly in, in outside the world and you can yeah, get yeah. Yoshi and all that stuff. Um, I always, there's like an area you can fly into and like clip into the geometry um, and then, and like go through the door backwards. Oh yeah, I remember that. that. Like a lot of people just do for fun. I always was like, no, there's a secret world here. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's the, it's the hidden cloud level. Like, oh, was this a thing that like kid, like kid Dan kind of like brainstormed up as like, no, it's the secret it's in there. Or did you like hear this on a schoolyard somewhere? I want to say like. Like, maybe I, like, dreamed it was in a Nintendo Power or something. <laughs> Aw. I don't know. I just... It, it was one of those, like, mew on a truck situations. Or push the truck. Aww. Okay, that that boy that's open. Yes. Egg. Ba -ba -da -ba. Fantastic. And now, we need to... What do you think this liquid is? <laughs> you know... Great question. I think it's like wine or rum. 1881. Hmm. How many... I feel like really silly. I feel like I should know, like... Do most alcohols, like, manage to... Keep or get better with, like, long-term aging? I'm sure I, most don't. I, I... Some do. I don't know. Some, I'm sure. That's the sort of thing that I that kid me would just assume adult me would know. Because yeah. adults all seem to know these things. Okay, we want to climb up the house. And to be fair, a lot of adults do know these things. Uh, we want to visit the toilet. I think it's maybe one of these. Gotta be one of these windows. Yep. Yes? I think it's in this room. <laughs> <laughs> what gives you that idea? <laughs> eh. Yes. Ba -ba no. Bum. Not what I'm trying to do. All right. There's the two from this world. Okay. We're rocking this. We're flying through this. Yeah, did you ever have one of those in a, mm. your, like an old game? I definitely... Nope. Front of the house. Front of the house. Here we go. I definitely, like, remember the uh, Mew... Uh, the Mew under a truck thing. Yeah, that that one. Like, how did that spread that so much? That one just much? really spread big time. If, if, if you don't know what we're talking about, in the original Pokemon game, um, it was rumored that like if you use strength on this one like truck, 
on a specific, I can't remember that, like Sea Foam Island or yeah, something, like, something that. like that. In the original Pokemon. And that was how you got Mew, because Mew was unobtainable Oops. in the game. Oh, listen, that, we're, uh, we're saving time. Yeah, yeah, no, this by, was a shortcut back to the, back to the level. room I just uh, mm. came from. It's faster. It is, yeah. Tell me about Mew. The, the cycles. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we reset the cycle. Um, but yeah, like you, that was the way, like, you know, the schoolyard rumor of like, here's how you find Mew because you couldn't get Mew in the game actually without like cheating. Um, of course, nothing happened when you pushed the truck. Some say, <laughs> yeah, some also say there is a Mew and we just did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's how these rumors continue That's how to live. live. That's how they live. It's like, no, 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 you're just doing the wrong we thing. want to go up. Oops. In the water one. Busy thinking about Mew right now. Thinking about Mew. I'm trying to think if there were other, like... I remember there were definitely, like, the rumors about ways to save Aerith in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah, Which yeah. even, like, teenage me was like, but why, though? <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. I, I know, like, yeah, that sucks, but that's that's why we care. That's why we remember. We want to go on that one. I just, I'm just seeing the sights, you know? Okay, you're just seeing the sights, you know? You're taking this a tour. Just smelling the roses underwater. Hey, if you want to see this this zone for... <laughs> There's a play frame. There's a playlist. <laughs> Top right. Boom. I'm legit Look impressed it. with your ability to remember all of this space. This took me to Rusty Bucket, but there is another this way, I think. Oh, we want Rusty Bucket. Oh, I thought we were going to click Lockwood first for some reason. I don't know. Here we go. Rusty Bucket Bay. Where in here is it going to be? So, any any predictions? Hmm. <laughs> They're all bad. Uh, let's see. It could be like... If you hint, side room. A side room. Who? So, like, on the like on the outskirts? No, it's on the ship. On the ship, but in a side room. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, like, sort of like a breakthrough window sort of side room? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, okay. Captain's quarters? Maybe. All right, let's find the captain's quarters. I don't remember which one it is. Probably not this one, but uh, I'm gonna check. Nope. This is the. Uh, hi. Uh, ah, I missed these little guys. Uh, hi. Ah, fun times. I love their. I love their little uh, hi. I do too. I love speaking of sound effects that literally everybody else watching this series also has differing opinions about what the banjo falling and landing from a high place sounds like. <laughs> it sounds different to everyone, apparently. It's the new, like, um... Yeah, the... Black dress, blue dress. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love that it wasn't just you and I who were hearing different things. It's great. It's delicious. All right. Nope. Nope. Arr. Arr. Oh. No. Oh. That regular was, one. Oh, other one. Okay, all right, I'll check. I don't think it's going to be this, but... No. Nope. This does not that's, look like a captain's that's quarters. A, that's a TNT. I think you need to go up this tier. That would make sense. Oop. Oh, oh, come on. Do it. Quitter. If only we could ledge grab. Ah, if only. Eh. You know what's... I actually do want the ledge grab here. Weird to think about. Huh. Like... We're... Uh, like... Just, just thinking in terms of, like, a sequel for a game. Yeah. Like, I think it was only a year and a half apart from... Kazooie, that Tui came out. Yeah, it's kind of like shocking trying, like remembering how like fast games were made around. back yeah. then. Yeah, like the fact that Majora's Mask was like what eight months? Yeah, <laughs> development time. Granted, that's like that. It shouldn't have been that way. They should have had more time. It's amazing they made a great game despite that. Yeah, but like. It's just one of those things like I'm I'm almost okay with like waiting like a decade for a sequel sometimes and it's like yeah oh geez they came out a lot faster than I remember they came out really fast back then weird yeah all right it's definitely this one kind of running out of viable windows it's got to be one of them hey something tells me uh, hi. <laughs> There we go. Got All it. Right. One more. One more to go. Seek pale egg. <laughs> pale egg 100% sounds like a Bloodborne item. Oh, totally. You you pop it and it distracts enemies or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, 
Y'all, it has taken everything in me to not talk about Elden Ring right now. <laughs> I was, yeah, like in a weird way, we don't have to come up with a punishment for Dan for the complaint counter. Like the fact that he now has to sit and watch Banjo Tooie while Elden Ring Elden exists Ring's and out. is out is kind of punishment enough yeah. for anyone. Me as well. I just finished recording Elden Ring and I want to continue oh, playing it's that. So fun. Not just and not because like I'm disliking Banjo Tooie, because Elden Ring is real darn fun. It's really fun. I cannot wait for our goofs in that game. Oh, for like co-op goof times? Just cool. Like two years down the road <laughs> yeah. when we co-op it. Nope. It was a lie. I felt like there was a passageway that here's way too. I thought there was. So. Yeah, well. Yeah, no, I, I cannot wait for co-op as well. Like, granted, I've still got months and months of actually first time playing it to get through. This is just the puzzle, isn't it? Yep, 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 yep. This is it. Lost. We need to go. How do you and you and I have plenty of other games wood. to play before oh, we, we gotta, get to- we gotta climb the other water room. So, go back a water room. Go back a water room. Got it. Yeah, that'll be- that'll be an interesting cope experience. It really will be. It looks- it looks fun. It looks fun. It just occurred to me that, uh, because this is a save file in which we've, like, fully beaten the heck out of this game, uh, Grunty's not taunting us here. Oh yeah! Grunty's- Grunty's not giving us lip. I, like, I was- I guess <laughs> I'm so used to it from Banjo-Tooie that I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Took me a second to realize something's missing. Insult rhymes. Yeah. We could- we could- I could- I could try to, like, insult you via rhyme. It- yeah, like, it has to be in rhyme, though. Okay, Because um, I really am missing sort of, like, the one witch rap battle that was happening in here. <laughs> she didn't have any competition, but she just kept on coming up with ideas. <laughs> He's thinking. Give him a minute. Listen, rhymes are hard. They are hard, yeah, like... I sympathize. Do you remember which uh, which which of the four? winter? Winter. Okay. Any any predictions? Hmm. Let me think. There's a lot of points of interest in this map. Uh. It could be like in the completed, co like treehouse cottage. It could be with nap nuts. Not Bingo. Hey. That's near the top. That's going to be a while. Where's the, where's the flight I pad? believe the flight pad is in the lake to the right. Okay. Doggone this music, though. It's so good, man. Click Clock Wood's the best. It's real good. I'm excited to hear more level music. You can't, you can't frown with Click Clock Wood. Tr try. It's hard. It's very, very oh, he's difficult. Smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> I made an effort. <laughs> I think you can just jump on that middle island. Was there a thing there, or am, am I misremembering? Oh wait, no, there it is. I just uh, got distracted by an Ecom Bokum. Actually, can we jump up there? I don't know if we can now that I think about it. Maybe. If only we could let you around. Yep. Oh, okay. there we go. There you are. I was like, I could have sworn. Wah! I fly. So I don't remember if it's Namdad's house or his like little attic. Mm. Like, but I think. Let's figure out I which one's harder to get into. The one, yeah, the one he break the window yeah. into. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's maybe his, his room. Aiming. So that's the house. I think it's to the left of the house. Uh, Camera. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> that took a lot of health. That was a lot of health gone. It's a pretty long way. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. <laughs> it's like a first time you fall a long distance in Breath of the Wild, and you're like, oh, that doesn't do, like, just a heart of damage, huh? <laughs> oh, no, poor Link. Poor Link. As I go through my entire fairy stock. Yep. Gentle piano game over music. <laughs> do you know the color of the text changes depending on how you die? For game over. Yeah. Oh gosh, I remember learning that for the first time. That's amazing. Yeah. Like, what are some of the example colors? Do you remember? Uh, I know yellow is if you get electrocuted. Uh, uh, blue is, I think, if you drown. 
great little touch. Oop. Come on, carefully. Caref carefully. Red is an enemy. I can't remember a lot of them. There we go. Not this one, so maybe it's his house. Not hearing much celebration in here. <laughs> Think I have to break his window. <laughs> breaking in. It's like I'm knocking and they're taking too long. I'm breaking in. <laughs> All right. I see small eggs, but where is large egg? Big uh -huh. egg. We have all the eggs. We have all the eggs. Hey, Banjo, we found all the stop and swap items. Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in Banjo-Kazooie. Nuts and wrong. Next, try again. <laughs> all right, we did it. Back to the other game. To the other game. Woo. We're here. All right, we're here. All right, to Heggy's house. To Heggy's house. Heggy's egg. I can't remember her name. The, the, it was like the Eggy Farm. Egg Heggy's. We're gonna find out together in just a second here. This is Heggy's. So much weirder than I thought house. today's episode was going to be, but I've enjoyed it. It's been a fun surprise. Banjo Toy's full of fun surprises. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It damn. sure is. <laughs> What? All right, chicken. Egg shed. The egg shed, of course. Do you want Heggy to hatch the egg? Please. Cluck, got another special egg. In the same nest, right? Cluck, yep. All right, yellow. Do your thing. Cluck, watch Heggy hatch. Taking the scenic route. Trust me, I understand. Yeah. Don't worry, we only have to watch this five more times. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the whole episode, huh? <laughs> Clock, special Heggy Egg Awards, Banjo Kazooie theme. Clock. Well, you got a Banjo Kazooie theme. Cool for your bird, dashboard, bird dash, Clock. Man. I like that too. <laughs> At least they managed to fit us in around all those boxes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, game. Okay. Installing. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming, Heggy. Do you want Heggy to hatch the egg? Please. See another Heggy special egg. Hope it's something good. Maybe I'll, it'll grant my wish to star in my own game. No chance. Rare have plans for us yet. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> oh well. Let me guess. Clock. Clock. Throw it in. I'm gonna say pink. Oh wait, I did pink. Dang it. Red. That's All right, what's the next one? <laughs> next one... We got green. I call green. Okay. I'm gonna say cyan. Ooh, cyan, okay, okay, okay. What do we got? We got green, cyan... Was there, there was like, there like a dark blue one? Must have been dark blue, yeah. Yeah, there was dark, dark blue was... Gobi's Valley. Mm, yep, yep, yep. Homing eggs, clock! Very nice! Clock! Go to Cheeto Code Room and enter homing to enable feature. That's the one that you say don't do. <laughs> so. Probably. Yeah, I would say don't do that if Donkey Kong 64 has taught me anything. Noted. We can we can try it if, if you I, want. If I feel like we're getting into it or like a, like as we play, I feel like, oh boy, I, if only these yeah. eggs homed, then yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Otherwise, I'm game for not doing that. There's one. definitely other cheat codes that I think are worth putting in. Um, Noted. But that's odd because that was the actual egg reward. <laughs> <laughs> this one seems heavy. So did they? Ch did they? They just changed the three that you wanted. <laughs> Green. Ha <laughs> ha. Dang it! I win. I the lose. Egg <sighs> contest. Dan wins. Dan wins. King of egg colors. Kerry put up the saddest. Dan wins. <laughs> 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 this has got to be the weirdest episode we do in this whole series. It has to be. Special Heggy Eggy Award Briegel Bash. Clock. Press X and X again for skin. Oh, that's good. For skinny. What? Wait, a Briegel Bash X and X? So, like, hang on. Wait. Briegel Bash. So, X and then X again? Whoa. There, that's, that was one of the things. That's a whole new attack animation. That's amazing. Why did that one work? <laughs> 
That's not supposed to be the. That's supposed to be the other one that we did. That was supposed to be the pink egg. <laughs> Cause are you okay? <laughs> it looks really painful. <laughs> that's that's his uh, smash attack and smash press. Oh yay! Regal bash. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, we got, that was that was one of the ones I wanted you to get. Yay, Yay we did we it. got one. All right, now I'm really curious. What else? Keep them coming, chicken. Hatch the egg. Dark blue this time, I guess. See another haggy egg. Egg hatching. Who'd have thought stop and swap would come to this? It'll be machines next. <laughs> Come on, hand it over. You're not wrong. Uh, dark blue. Dark blue. Cluck, watch haggy hatch. We wouldn't miss it, Heggy. And... Special Heggy Egg Award, Jinjo as multiplayer character! <laughs> Yay! What is Jinjo? Who is Jinjo? <laughs> They're your neighbors. They're right across the street, like... So the multiplayer mode, for people who don't know, it's like it's a lot of the mini-games, like the really fancy mini-games uh, that you've seen in this, like, I think that sort of soccer-y kind of game I think you can kind of play with people. You can oh, do yeah. first-person shoot, like, you can play Doom, Goldeneye, basically, against each other in the first-person sort of thing. It's, uh... They're, I don't know what all the modes are, but those are the ones that, like, I kind of remember. I think there's a weird submarine one or something? I don't, I don't know. We'll encounter it eventually, I'm sure. Keep hatching eggs. I'll tell you when to stop. Clock, tired now. How do you think I feel carrying them for ten years? <laughs> Clock, waiting. <laughs> There's a, that cyan one. There he is. Watch Haggy Hatch. How is... I'm curious of, like, the tools they use to animate these lads. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, Clock, my! Very special Heggy Egg Award! Clock, this might be useful. One day. Clock. Here we go again. Well, at least that means we'll get to see our 20th birthdays. <laughs> you think so? Surely Rare will make the next game faster than that. Gosh, this hurts. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Stop and Swap 2 is found! Now uh, we can hatch eggs! Hey, alright, we can hatch more eggs! Yes! Keep them coming. Another round. On me. Special- Oh, do I need to do something else with that one? I don't know. Hang on. Um, maybe come back in? Oh, yo, maybe I'll like, yeah, like exit come back. Okay, yes. Let's do that. Clock, special eggs all hatched, but we've- we got some more, though. <laughs> I love that this mystery continues. We're never gonna be done. Never ever. Heggy. I collected some. I got them. I killed Nintendo cartridges for this. Useless. Well, you look that up. <laughs> I'm going to go... You know, as long as we're just sort of, like, doing weird side stuff. Uh, I guess this isn't side stuff. I'm going to go back a couple of worlds here. So, like, it, taking my whole metroidvania e approach of going for, like, moves and specific uh, collectibles rather than world completion, there are some moves we're missing. We're missing one here, or two here on the Isle of Hag somewhere. Uh, one at Glitter Gulch Mine, and one in Witchy World. Let me go see if I can get back to the mine area and find whatever the heck those moves are that I'm missing. While you look up our egg concerns. The old egg concerns. It's gonna be very difficult to sleep knowing that there's more egg concerns if we don't get this wrapped up in this Session, if not episode. Oh, there's a page. It's right the heck there. Oh, that's convenient. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Fly, grab. Yes. Mine. Okay. Gotta find a drill sergeant. 
can you push start for me? Yes. Can we go to totals? Totals. Objects, Objects and items. items. Okay. We, we, hmm. we have a nice key. We do have a key. It just gave it to this. Oh. One, one of those N64 cartridges gave us the key. Oh, cool. So we just have a key now? So, I don't know if originally... You remember the little cave that was in the ginger village that had you climb? And then you... Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was the little cartridge in there and you killed him? Yeah. That is where the ice key is supposed to be. Oh. So I'm guessing just getting those and getting the stop and swap two achievements counted give you the thing yeah huh well we got Briegel Blash and that's the only way to get Briegel Bash cool so so we there's a reason <laughs> I'm glad we did it it's what a bizarre thing uh okay there's a mumbo pad. there's a mumbo pad and I guess like the move could be underneath that for all I know we haven't even talked to Mumbo here yet. Haven't even talked to him. Mumbo, where are you? He's lonely. Let's just go ahead and do that instead, since I can't seem to find the darn move anywhere. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Get your magic ready, buddy. I want to see what the heck it does. Also, I want all these notes. And this, thank you. Don't think I've been down there yet. There's lots of places I haven't been. I'm here for moves. A lot of places. A lot of places around here. A lot of little caves. A lot of little places. Mumbo's skull. Mumbo's skull. Alright, Mumbo, what's your magic going to do this time? I'm very curious. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mambo if want help. Want Mambo's help? Oh yes. Yes. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mambo's bag. I don't, I don't know why. This isn't a, a complaint. <laughs> There's no complaint here. There's no complaint here. No complaining here. Go on. I, I, because I, I feel this way with. Donkey Kong 64 too of like that I go into a thing and then it's like oh do you want do you want this yes or no and I don't like that that is an odd question I don't know I'll give you that and I don't even think that's like that's not a problem unique to Banjo-Tooie yeah. either a lot of games do that or did that especially it feels like back in these days under what circumstances would you ever not want to do that I guess if you have only found one Globo which is hard to imagine because they're pretty easy to locate and you really, really, really wanted to give it to Humba instead for some reason. Yeah, I like. I, I guess so. I don't know. And and I know there's literally you could point at things that do the exact same, this thing? but different. Um, I don't know. Just something about like in oh, in like a little platformer exploration game like this. Like, just give me the thing. <laughs> just give me the thing. Yeah, I agree. It, it, I don't know why. It does feel like a weird thing to ask. If if the Globos were harder to find, yeah, that, I guess that I would, would appreciate that would, it. That would make more sense, yeah. Because then, yeah, like, I've only got one. And I really was wanting to turn into something cute instead, Mumbo. Levitate. What's under there? Or where are you moving this? Uh... He's just gonna he's just gonna lift it up high so when we drop it, the the jiggy that's clearly inside the jiggy marked rock of course, of will course. be safe and undamaged. <laughs> it's okay, it's just probably a normal shed. A oh, it's a crushing shed. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. A shed for crushing. Oh. Boy. Why'd you put it there? As as long as it doesn't activate. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo, are you proud of yourself for this thing you did? I guess I should go in there. So, um, <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get through, aren't we? Button, button, all the way in there. Uh, okay, gonna have to come well, back been with Baron Bird. Huge plays there. <laughs> Thank you. 
It felt clever to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Get out of here. Oh! Oh! Something feels weirdly. Maybe it's the sound effect. Something feels weirdly violent about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm very surprised. It's probably a matter of having to do it for every enemy, of like them not doing a like silhouette with the skeleton. Oh yeah, <laughs> that feels very up their alley. My favorite version of that I ever saw, I think I want to say it was in Magicka, was uh, if your little wizards get electrocuted, you see their skeleton, but not like their human skeleton. You see their animation skeleton of their little bones and joints inside. That which is so cute. Very cute. That's good. It, it very much had, like, me doing, like, DiCaprio meme points. <laughs> like, I know this. I know what they're doing. <laughs> I know what that is. I get this. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is it about memes that are so just, like, fun? I don't know. It's just like, hey, I, this is, it's that exact specific react. It's, it's like, you know, you know when, like, Oh, you know, there's there's not an English word for this experience. It's only in this, <laughs> you know, culture. Yeah, yeah. It's like memes break that, you know. <laughs> there is no word that there's no weird for point at recognition of you catching a, a reference that is not popular. Like I <laughs> it conveys the picture literally communicates a lot of words. Yeah. And a lot of feelings. Like boom, immediate. You know. It's weird, like, a lot, for a little while, like, I just sort of, like, always thought of memes as a sort of, like, more recent internet era type thing. They're not. There's, it's really just, like, it's a reference of a popular thing that lots of people know. So, like, we had memes back when I was a kid. It was just stuff like, where's the beef? And other, comer like, it was TV commercials we yeah, saw that were, like, uh... like arguably, was up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. those were our memes. The thing is, like... Commercials were the memes. So, like, most of our memes just kind of sucked back then, and we just have more of them. And some of them suck now, too, but there's better ones. Maybe that's... Maybe maybe I've just... I've always liked memes because of my my commercial knowledge. You do have, like, an, an impressive memory for commercials from our childhoods. So many things that I don't remember until you mention them, and it, like, shakes something loose. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just running around. I thought I saw one uh, more uh, move learning spot, but I can't remember if it if it has a green light. Is it a move that I've learned or one that it can learn? Because I don't remember. We're going to find out because it was uh, on one of these tall stack things. I think green means clean. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad we've cleared that up. There it is. I think it means we've already done it. Okay, I think but you're right, I, but we, we got to check. check. Yeah. Oh, there's a free hat. Hey, a free hat. Oh, oh my no. gosh, there was a guy And now there. it's all oh, wet. I don't even want wet. it anymore. You don't want to get that it's real leather. <laughs> I killed the guy for his hat, but now that I have it, I don't even want it. <sighs> the build drill allows you to destroy stronger objects that the... Be uh, okay, so we have learned this one. Yeah. Also, I, I know I was being saucy when we learned that of like, hey, never do the other thing again. Yeah. I'm not 100% on it. <laughs> We've, we have already found, so, I guess. So if you see something to slam... Try both. Go, try both. Noted. Yeah, because like we found that one uh, that one carnival game and Witchy World that like if I use one of the slams, the meter goes up. If I use the same slam again, nothing. If I use the other slam, meter goes up further. And apparently there's a third slam or something I need because it wasn't done yet. I don't get that part, but... Who knows? Who knows? I feel like I need to achieve one more thing before we can wrap up this bizarre we episode. Should, um, we should we should go to the crushing machine. Cru of course, yes, that's right. Uh, there was a warp at the crushing machine. I've like, I'm making that mistake, that first session mistake again, where I'm just chatting and not thinking at all about what I'm doing, and that's gonna get me in trouble. Oh, you know what we should also do? Huh? Uh, realize we should have brought Mambo somewhere else. <laughs> well, let's do that after we're we, done with. We can we can warp. No. That's true. Yeah, let's let's remember and realize that afterwards. Okay. I... All right. Yeah. 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 Easy. Look it's at not that. a problem. Which move? Well, there hey, we go. Hey, we push. Ah. Uh... So like that. 
I think that might be the one instance of that move being used. <laughs> the one time. Yeah. I'm curious if you could have used other moves, but it seemed to me seems like that's a clear. That felt like the move to use. That felt like the right one. I kind of thought the big things were going to be involved in the crushing. They're just an obstacle. Like the big stompy parts, right? Oh no! I'm sure. At least the jiggy, I'm sure, will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's a good bit. I, I do really like it. That's it's a really good bit. Silly. I like that one. Eh. Nope. Go. Go. Did you finish DK sixty four? Did like I have not. I, I was I was going to finish it up the other day, um, but I forgot. I had plans later, and I was like, I cannot wrap this game in two hours, so... Yeah. I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting more and more, more of the music. And more the I, yeah. that's, that's so cute. It's, that's it's, great. I do like that. That is a good bit. Hey, we did it. We got a jiggy. We did it. We've achieved something. Today. There's another one up there. I can't... That one we needed shoes for. Oh, needed shoes. Oh, yeah, because that box shoe. had oh, the shoes. Oh, the shoes, of course. Um, well, we'll have to figure that one out later, though, everyone. Later. Thank you all for watching this bizarre episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Next time, almost guaranteed, we'll be in Banjo-Tooie the whole time. Not 100%, but almost. We're pretty sure. Probably. Look forward to it. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you.